Let's get into it. January the 19th. Uh, we're going to talk about some cryptocurrency today. Uh, Bitcoin and the crypto market. And um, I went ahead and pulled up coin market cap. I mentioned it in the last video. And this is like a, uh, a site where you can go and get information, uh, more detailed information on the uh, the most popular cryptocurrencies uh, that are being traded. And, you know, the thing people have to understand about cryptocurrency is that Bitcoin is the uh, it's the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. And the number two cryptocurrency in the world is Ethereum. And there's a difference in the coins. And uh, the Ethereum coin, coin is a coin where with that coin, you can um, you can make smart contracts. It has smart contracts available. It has a technology on it where you can actually make a token. And you have a market where with cryptocurrency, there are a lot of coins that uh, they're not actually coins, they're tokens that are made from the Ethereum smart contract network. OK, um, those tokens uh, are increasing in value as Ethereum is increasing in value. Ethereum has increased over almost a thousand percent like Bitcoin did. Bitcoin went up a thousand percent. And I pulled up the uh, chart on Bitcoin and we can see from when Bitcoin first started, we see that you could buy a whole Bitcoin for uh, less than, for pennies on a dollar in the beginning. Okay, 2011, 2012, during that time frame to where we see that a whole Bitcoin was equal to less than a dollar. And then we can fast forward to now where we see the height of that chart to where bitcoin is in the thirty thousand dollar range to where one bitcoin is now worth thirty thousand dollars so we see how it turned the uh the value upside down of, of uh the comparison with the dollar to where now you know in one bitcoin you have one million satoshis the units that it breaks down into when you buy Bitcoin, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy pieces of the Bitcoin. And now, I mean, you know, from where it started with one Bitcoin being less than pennies to where now you can only get a fraction of a Bitcoin for a dollar now. Like, I think it's like uh, maybe... Five thousand satoshis or four thousand satoshis is one dollar now, or well, forty thousand satoshis is one dollar now. I don't have the exact figure on it. You, I'll have to calculate that, and it's easy to calculate. I just haven't done it. Uh, so this is uh, what you would have to come into the knowledge of when you come into cryptocurrency, how it converts into the dollar, how it breaks down into the units of measurements. It's calculus involved. It's uh, you know, it's something that you would have to take a little time to get acquainted with because it's not the uh, the form of uh, calculations that we're used to using with, with dollars. And, you know, the dollar breaks down into uh, it takes 100 pennies to equal a dollar. And you know what I mean? It takes 10 dimes to equal one dollar. So the units of measurements is what, you know, we would have to learn. Uh, I've been involved with crypto for a few years now and. You know, it's easy for me to do it and I know how to do it. And I've done so many transactions in crypto and whatnot. It's uh, it's something that I know about. When I tell you about Bitcoin and crypto, I'm not someone that doesn't know what they're talking about. I don't speak on things I don't know about. I know a lot about crypto. I know the best cryptos to get. I know the ones that have increased significantly in value. I know the ones that are going to continue to increase in value. It's like we're going to be going over these things on the channel because uh, this is very important. It, you know, I'm not gaining anything. I'm not getting paid any money or any coins by these companies to talk about them. Uh, I'm doing this because I have a lot of love for the audience, for the community that, that makes up the uh, people that are involved with this channel. And I, it, you know, it's 
very important for me to bring the highest level of, of information to you. And that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I did it briefly last year. I had a video with the Crypto Hopper, which is a, a bot where you can actually trade crypto and you can program it to, to your settings of your technical analysis that you want uh, the bot to follow on how to purchase these coins when they go down in value. Uh, Bitcoin has went up over a thousand percent from last year. And right now, there's a good chance that it's going to pull back and it's going to come down and the entire crypto market will come down. People have a, a, a misnomer with the uh, with the dollar and, and the, the value of the dollar going up and down. It has been going down, but it does look like the dollar is starting to turn. And um, when that happens, the crypto market is going to fall and we have to be ready for this so we can get the crypto at that point in time you want to have a good entry point you don't want to get it when it's coming down you want to wait for it to come down and then get the crypto and this is a wallet right here uh, the atomic wallet and you can uh, use this wallet to purchase your cryptos and hold it on your uh, pc you have the keys to your wallet which is a, a series of words that only you have to where you can access this wallet and then you can see the different coins involved and uh, we're going to be going over these things in more detail. I just wanted to give you a brief uh, synopsis of uh, what's going on with this crypto market right now.